Hi kids, welcome back to another Click On This. It's Mike Banker here, and man, do we have a good time for you today and a great experiment that the Dr. Pepper is going to do for you. And uh, what you'll need today is a bottle of water. You can use a, a bigger bottle or just use a bottle of water for this also. Um, a funnel if you have one. That wasn't in the stuff from last week, but hey, a funnel if you have one. Water, it's, this still goes with this, I just poured it in there. Um, and oil, cooking oil, food coloring, and algae seltzer. And after you're done, if your belly hurts, ask your mom though, don't do this on your own. Okay, so first of all, let's say hi to Allie. Hi Allie. Hi. I don't know if we saw you, but if you didn't see her, she is here, I promise. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. But before we get started, let's pray. God, thank you for this time together. Even though we're not actually physically together, God, that we're together in heart and spirit and we're together in you and your love, God. Be with us as we learn more about you be with us as we talk more about you, God. And as we go to homeschool, as we stay with our parents, uh, help us to be patient, helpful, and loving. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, I'm going to, um, oh, I dropped my pen. I'm gonna get the doctor, I'll be back. Oh, hello there, it's a sign. Good. 
So he sent Jesus, his only son, down and watch what happens. Jesus comes down because we're separated, remember? We are separated from God, and this is the Akasasa. And we put it in, boop. Oh, oh. Oh, I see bubbles. Now watch. Oh. I see more bubbles. We put the Akasasa in. more. So we can see a lot of bubbles. But you see how the water and the oil and the blue is bubbling and the blue is coming up and mixing with. So when Jesus came to the world, he brought it back so we and God could commune together again. So you remember John 3.16, but let me read to you 1 Corinthians 3.16 and it says don't you know that you are God's temple and he dwells within you so since Jesus came to the world to dwell with us the Holy Spirit now dwells in us letting us commune with God isn't that amazing well, with that, I want to say goodbye, and I hope things are going well for you, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye! Hello, everyone. I hope you really enjoyed that experiment from Dr. Peppa. This is a really cool lava lamp, and I hope that you'll show everyone and your family while you're social distancing this cool experiment, but more importantly, tell them about Jesus in this verse and what this means to us. So let's say a prayer and then we'll go through a few announcements and it will be very exciting. So let's pray. God, thank you for sending Jesus down to uh, atone for our sins, to, to cover our sins, and thank you for allowing us to dwell with you again, to be in communion with you and to be closer to you. Even though we are distancing ourselves physically now, we know that your spirit is always with us, and we are grateful for that. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. So everyone, as much as we miss you here at Hopewell United Methodist Church, we hope you're keeping up with our Facebook page, our children's ministries groups, and all of the other things that are being sent your way, whether that's on email um, or other ways that we're communicating with you. We really miss you. We love you. We're praying for you. And stay tuned for more.